Hey, what's going on, gang? Uh, thought I would give you an update uh, on where I am today. Uh, got the Bondo sanded down uh, on the uh, generator, and I'm pretty pumped the way it looks. Uh, I'm sure if you're looking for it, you can see it, but if I put the cyclotron on, we're looking pretty, pretty good, I think. Not too bad. So, got a couple, a couple more sands on that, and we're going to be in good shape. Uh, got the uh, top of the ion arm. Uh, let me get this under the light. We're looking pretty good there. I'm pretty pumped. I don't know, should I spray this silver? Should I weather it? Should I just spray it silver and then weather it afterwards? Let me know. Tell, tell me what you think. But... Uh, I'm getting, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're getting to the point where we're not seeing lines too much anymore. Got some sands on the uh, iron arm. Uh, I know that seems a little bit ugly up here, but it feels smooth. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to hit this with welds and with the hot glue and try to make it look nice. I hit the uh, bumper with a lot of sanding today and also hit it with some primer. I'm hoping that this is going to be the last time and I can finally hit this thing with uh, a coat of paint and we're done, but I'm not sure. You know, some, some folks, oh, I don't even know if some folks, but uh, people have asked how I get fine sanding like this done. Like where this, you cannot feel where the seam is. You cannot feel where the, um, the Bondo is. Some people, some ladies have come up to me in the uh, bar after having a cocktail and they go, hey, how do you get your Bondo seams so, so smooth, Frank? Your Bondo seams are the smoothest. And I'm like, ease off, gals. I'm married, you know. But anyway, I'll give you the secret. I have a. I'll, I'll just try to take this out here. And I'm not going to do this one hand, but I use. And, and this was a happy accident. I used to quarter round, quarter round molding, as big as I can find it. And then I wrap that in sandpaper. And I'm not going to be able to do it on camera, but I hope to Christ you understand what the hell I'm trying to do. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Let's try to do that together. It's not looking very tight, but you want it tighter than this, and you want it tight to the to the thing, and then you're gonna you're going to hit it. You're going to hit it, and then when you uh, w when you think you're doing well, go that way, go that way, go that way. And then also reduce it. Like I went from 80 grit to 150 grit to 400 grit before I put a coat of primer on this. So that's a little, I don't know if it's a pro tip, but that, that, that's, that's something I do. That's something the ladies uh, ask for nowadays. They want to know, how are you sanding, how are you sanding your bond up? And uh, if you don't know how to do it, then, then surely you're not in the game nowadays. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, we are on pace. Once this uh, cures 100%, I am going to give it a quick sand. Then I am going to primer it again. And I am going to hit it with another can of truck bed coating that I bought today. Well, I bought a couple days ago. Just got the layer today. And uh, bolt and glue it to this piece. And we're going to be on the Farton Road. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be right there, guys. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much the biggest, the biggest, uh, the biggest thing I can say right now. I'm going to bed. Got stuff to do tomorrow. I gotta get up at 7:30. I appreciate everybody watching this. And uh, Brad, thank you for all your help. Brad in Australia, he rules. 
Uh, we're going to get some real brass fittings on this thing shortly. It's going to be fucking awesome. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching, and I will talk to you all soon. Take care, guys.